Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Insights by Janita Francis. This week I thought we'd try something different. So in preparation for trying things different, I changed my set. Uh, I changed my hair. Usually my hair is up for all those on the radio. My hair hates me. I hate my hair. We have a very healthy relationship. We don't expect too much of each other. So I try to hide my hair as much as possible so I don't look like I've been homeless for the last 15 years of my life. Um, I want to try collective reading. I also want to get a bit more involvement. I have a a Facebook page called Insight by Janita Francis. Now, if you haven't been there before, do pop over and have a look. So Janita is, it uh, felt a little bit weird, I suppose. It's J-O-H-N-I-T-A. And Francis is F-R-A-N-C-I-S. Now, I'll give you those details again at the end of the show. But... If you pop over to my Facebook and have a look, I do things called flash readings. And what that is, is that everybody that's watching my live at that particular moment gets a reading. So it could be a couple of minutes, it could be a one card reading, could be a relative that comes through. Um, I will warn you, sometimes it is chaotic. Like <laughs> in the hour long segment, I might do 40, 50 flash readings for people. It goes that but there are replays available okay so you do need to be there to ask a question um, and of course everyone hangs around because it's just so fast and spirit comes through at a fast rate of knots they chat away to me um, they flicker my camera so you'll see my face if you haven't seen me because we're on the radio um, but you'll see my face you'll see the lights flicker you'll see the camera get shook um, you'll see spirit popping up into the um into my curtain behind me that I use in my office. And uh, look, it's just a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. Um, super sensitive subjects I would take offline. So if I get someone that um, is a little bit unsure about how someone passed away or it's a little bit of a sensitive subject, um, I will still do that free one card pull or that free channel intuitive reading, but I would do it in a private message because some things are just not for everybody all the time are they so um there, there is options of doing that flash readings do happen they are in a flash though so we don't do them um every single thursday at 6 p.m um we do them some thursdays we'll do other free metaphysics education i run master classes from there which are free so you can learn about various different things i did a boundaries master class very uh, recently and that has been an absolute hit with so many people, boys and girls, which is just amazing because we understand, we hear about self-love and we hear about boundaries, but what the heck is it and how do we embrace it? How do we bring this into our lives? So um, I take you through that. We've got a Soul Vibes Masterclass coming up soon. Um, and all of these masterclasses, the content is in a framework, okay? So we do have some structure to them, but spirit are hilarious they will pop in they'll redirect me they'll give me different ideas while I'm trying to run the class I let them go for it I will playfully tell them to shut up or pipe down or stick a sock in it or anything else shut your pie hole something that we say down here um, but you know what they, they never get offended they just keep coming back and sometimes I was doing a reading for someone earlier for an example um, and somebody in the background wanted to have a turn, but I was reading exclusively for somebody. So somebody in the background started throwing things around my house. And you can clearly hear them crashing something out in my lounge room, which I'm yet to go and have a look at. So I will get mad with them if, they, if they've broken anything on me. But um, lots going on over on my page. So you can follow me on Twitter. I have a Twitter account as well. I have a YouTube channel. I am on Instagram. I've tried to stick to insights by Janita Francis everywhere because, A, 
I don't like having to remember lots of different things. And B, I think it just makes it easier for the viewers and the listeners to be able to find me as well so they can book in for a private reading, a um, bit of coaching, mentoring. We do have uh, paid workshops that are quite intensive and uh, they usually have a, a reading for attendees at the end of it. Um, depends on how many people come along and where we're going with it. Um, but there's, there's always something happening on my page. So if you haven't already been over there to like it and follow it, then please make sure you do because it's, um, it's a live wire hour. <laughs> it's a, a lot of fun. There's also um, which picture interpretation. So you know how sometimes on Facebook you see, do you like this angel or do you like that angel? And you put your put which your preference down in the comments and you check back later and you get that definition of what that means. I actually run something similar. However, I channel the answers live. So I say, okay, spirit, let's go. I do my little clicking fingers, which I'm not going to do now because they won't leave me alone. Um, and then that engages spirit. So they come along and I get the download from them straight away and we do it online. So uh, do my witch picture interpretations a little bit differently, but it's so much fun. It really is a lot of fun. So what I wanted to do, though, because I'm used to going 100 miles an hour. And if you listen to me on a regular basis, you will know that I can talk underwater with a mouthful of concrete. So what I thought about doing is so I can reach out to more people and so we can get some more answers for you and provide some more clarity. I thought about doing an email session. So what that means is you send me in your, your email or you private message me via Facebook, Insights by Janita Francis, and you let me know what your question is. And it could be, um, how's my career looking? Or, you know, is this the right person for me? Is this relationship toxic? Is, um, could be anything at all, whatever's on your mind. Should I move to a new state? Should I move to a new country? All those sorts of things. Um, and then I'll collect some of those and then actually answer them live here on A1R Psychic Radio. So it's an opportunity to, you know, because it's so hard to get your callers listened to. And I get that. I understand that. And, you know, people are my favorite subject in the entire world. So for me to be able to reach more people and do more readings, I think that this option would be great. So, again, I'll give you the details at the end of this segment so you can um, – Send them through. Private message on Facebook is always a beauty. And then um, I'll just read them out. If you want to remain anonymous, give me a code word. So say Miss Brown from Oklahoma. And just remember that you're Miss Brown from Oklahoma or Mr. Smith from Texas, whatever your code is, okay? I don't necessarily have to say your name if it's a sensitive topic, but you do need to give me something so I can identify you so you know when the reading is for you. So that's something a bit interesting, a bit exciting, and a good way to, to get, um, you know, get your reading done as well, and, you know, so really bring some clarity and, and sense of purpose to the, to the listeners. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, what else do we do? Have many motivationals um, that pop up on my Facebook page all the time as well. So there could be um, world speakers or just people that I've just, you know, when you just hear certain words or certain sentence at that point in your life and it's like, oh my goodness, that's it. That That's the key I need right now to change direction, to shift my perception. And um, so I've taken some of those quotes and I've put them on my Facebook page and they pop up every now and then so you can identify, you know, oh, okay, this is something that we need to think about or it could be a thought provoker for you. So um, I've also just finished doing the 21 Days of Abundance program which is a free program uh, it is a private group that I run through my Facebook page and for 21 days we do a task and we do a meditation and then we do a mantra and it supports us being able to move forward in our lives and, and bring in abundance so um, in all areas of our lives not just money or finances or relationship but it's all areas so um, and it's been such a success I've had brilliant feedback from I think there's about 34 people in this group that I'm teaching at the moment and uh, and they've all had, you know, on one level or another, some really big shifts in their lives. So if you're interested in doing that, it is no cost whatsoever. It is absolutely no cost. Um, let me know and we can run another group. I'd be 
I'd be absolutely thrilled to do that. So what else is going on? There's so much going on. So we've had some bushfires in Australia. Now we've got constant rain. Now you will know that I'm a motorcycle rider, so I don't want to be too upset about the constant rain, but I'm a bit itchy to get out there on my bike and put a few revs up there. So um, but patience is a virtue. I taught someone this morning, so I best uh, take my own advice, I suppose, <laughs> and see how that goes. All right, what else? Gosh, there's so much going on, lots going on. If you're in the western suburbs of Sydney, I will let you know that I now uh, do face-to-face -face readings at a place in Campbelltown called Elizabeth's Crystal Garden. You will get me there on Thursday afternoons between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. So plenty of time to see me. So um, I do a lot of video conferencing. I do a lot of um, on phone readings and all sorts of things because I read literally for people all over the world. It's just one of the greatest perks of my job uh, is how many people I get to talk to and, and learn from and teach and, you know, exchange energy with. Um, but a lot of people do like that face-to-face -face reading. So if you are local to Sydney or western suburbs of Sydney, then I will be reading at Elizabeth's Crystal Garden every Thursday between 1 and 5 from next Thursday. So really looking forward to doing that because it's just cool. It's just a cool way of doing things. So, yeah. All right, we might get into a collective reading and see what the energy is doing. We've got uh, Mercury in retrograde still until about March 10th. Okay, so that will shift a little bit compared to where you are in the universe um, or on the planet, rather. Um, but you'll start to feel now that we're sort of coming into that shadow phase, which means that it lessens a little bit, so it won't feel so chaotic. Um, if you've had a particularly difficult time for Mercury retrograde, and it will be different for everybody, um, then you can start to feel, you might feel a little bit flat or a little bit lacking in energy, and that's certainly where I'm at. Um, but it'll shift, okay? Just drink lots of water, just go with the flow, try not to choke anybody, especially the people that you love. And, um, you know, it'll start to loosen as we get closer to the 10th. And then, and then it starts going at the stations direct, which means that it's going to start moving forward again, okay, which means that we won't feel like we're like little ducks on the top of the pond and our little leggies are going like the clappers, but we're not getting anywhere. So, um, yeah, Mercury's almost left us alone. Mercury does do retrograde, you know, a few times a year, so it's not like we've got through this and we can take a great big sigh of relief because she'll come back to bite us a little bit later in the year. And that's okay. I mean, that's cool. I hope that you have used the Mercury retrograde to be able to find a different way of communicating because Mercury is the planet of communications. Um, it controls all communications, electronic and verbal and nonverbal. Um, so if you've used this time to your advantage, um, then you would have felt that you were heard, maybe not necessarily action orientated, but people were taking on board what you were saying. So um, you'll start to feel more action orientated results after Mercury goes direct again, so March 10th. So that is the aim, guys. So by the time you and I get together next week, Mercury will be going forward once more, or will speed up, I think we should say, and uh, we we'll start to feel more human and less zombie. I think, <laughs> I think that's a good expression for what's been going on. All right, where shall we start? We might actually start with the Zodiac deck. Now, this morning I had to do a reading for, um, I got contacted by a lady who's got a family member who's quite distressed about grandma passing away and she asked if I could tap into grandma and just see if she's got anything to say, see if she's got any messages. And you know what? I, I absolutely love doing this for people because when you're able to validate someone's feelings and to give them a little bit of clarity around you know, that grandma actually is here that your loved one still is around us and they are able to communicate and, you know, the best thing that you can do is reach out to someone like myself or a, a similar medium who can tap into that for you and then what you really should be doing is saying, how can I do this for myself? How can you teach me so I can do this for myself? And, you know, I, I don't have... Um, I don't have this weird feeling where I want people to keep coming back to me every time they want to reach out to a loved one. I would rather 
teach you how to fish than just give you a fish. So I will tap in. I will show you how to do it. I'll show you how I do it. I will tap into your little energy um, and your skills and teach you how to hone those skills so you can actually talk to your loved ones that have passed as well. So, it's, um, yeah, the whole idea is to bring people into a spiritual awareness and I can't do that if I'm selfish with how I do it. I just want people to really relax in being able to call on the spirit, to understand messages, to understand that spirit does things in a very odd manner. <laughs> they use a lot of symbology. You need to be able to talk things out. Some people think you're crazy because you're nothing it out through your mind. Um, if you do face-to-face -face readings with me, I will look at you when I'm talking to you and I will look away when I'm talking to spirit. And I tell people that right from the get-go because I don't want people to think that I need them to answer. I'm actually literally – and because you, I – Say it out loud. People know that I haven't tuned out or I've fallen asleep or anything else. They know I'm still still on the planet. So that's how I do it. So little tricks like that. And um, oh, we've got a Mars card out. That's a nice one. Oh, and we've got those ones too. So let's have a look at that energy by what's going on here. So um, you learn little quirks and how to. Oh, that's very high up there. Right here, guys. Okay, so we've got career under fire, friendships under fire, and um, hidden things under fire as well. But what I mean by that is these are the sorts of issues that we'll be facing or the challenges, obstacles, whatever you like to call them, growth opportunities. <laughs> That's a very nice way of putting it, a growth opportunity um, up in our careers. So a lot of people at the moment are questioning, what the hell am I doing? Is this the job for me? Is this the relationship for me? Do I like a friend? Do I need a new circle of friends? And how do I feel about this? How do I truly feel at my core about what's going on in my life right now? What do I want to change? And it can be quite overwhelming going through this. The only advice that I can give you is that you are not alone. Lots of people going through this, myself included. I had the moments a couple of weeks ago where I just thought, what? No, I don't want to do this anymore. Why do I want to do this? And it wasn't about mediumship work because I love it. It was about something else that I was doing in my life. And I thought, I don't want to do that anymore. That's just not, yeah. So if you're in that same boat, know that the action orientation is coming in. So Pluto has come up. So Pluto is all about transformation, leaping forward, being able to bring things in that you need to bring in. Jupiter has come in as well, which is all about confidence um, and having courage and self-belief. The only way you can change things in your life that you don't like is by having the confidence to be able to try something different, having the confidence to be able to say, stuff that, I don't want to do this anymore, I want something different for myself. It's very Leo as well, okay? So it's definitely a reminder and Mars-driven. So it's definitely ambitious and it's about you. It's, it's like the universe is basically using these cards, using these planets and signs to let me know that it's up to you how you progress in your life. I can give you all the tips. Spirit can give you all the advice, recommendations, suggestions, tips, reminders. But unless you actually do the action, you do the intention, you follow things through, that lets, um, you know, that's how you get results by doing the action. And this is what it's all about. So for those of you that are listening at the moment and in the future, because who is supposed to be listening or will be listening, trust me, that's how the universe works, um, know that you've really got to self-check, okay, when you're, I really want to try a new business as an example, okay, and you really feel very passionate about this new business and you're so excited, but then there's this pang of, can I do this? Am I really, am I nuts? You know, do I have the right skills to do this? You know what? Chuck all that doubt away. Chuck it all away. If you want to go into business for yourself, do it in a calculated, logical, smart, low-risk manner. Do a few hours a week to maintain your full-time job and then balance it out. So as your full-time job becomes, you know, a bit of a burden to your own business, 
drop back to part-time, drop back to casual, then you at least know that you've got that stable income coming in. And it takes a lot of that fear away of, crap, how am I going to pay my mortgage? How am I going to pay my car payment? How am I going to pay my medical bills or my insurances and those sorts of things? So absolutely don't talk yourself out of your passions and your dreams. But do them in such a manner that you feel safe and secure as to reduce the fear factor because it's really scary working for yourself. It really is. It's something that I've been doing for a very long time, but I've also had what I call a muggles job. (laughs) So I've always had that stable income that I can rely on and, and that takes the fear out of working for myself, okay? So this is what the planets are doing at the moment. Now, when I'm talking about planets, I don't mean... In astrological terms, I'm literally using the energy and the definitions and the traits of the planets and the zodiac to be able to bring you the reading, okay? So if you look up on astro.com or anything like that, you say, that lady's nuts. That's not what's going on. Um, That's because I'm not actually using astrological terms here. Um, Well, I am, but not of that purpose, not in astrological terms purposes. (laughs) Does that even make sense? Oh, hopefully. And hang with me. I'm going to blame Mercury for that one, for my lack of being able to communicate correctly. All right. Let's have a look and see. What have I got here? The angel cards. Oh, I've got to do a split right there. Okay. All right, guys. So what I can tell you is there's going to be a great deal of activity coming in with sudden and immediate results and important communication. Now, we just covered this on the other card and Mercury retrograde. So things are going to start to increase. Things are going to start to change. So even though we're feeling like those little ducks on the pond, that leggy to go on for it, we're actually going to gain momentum. And it's been backed up by the cards as well. There's some wisdom insight here. So it's a reminder for you not to act in haste or under an emotional trauma. So um, even though we're at at the end of our tethers and we're at our wit's end with lots of things, uh, we don't want that to just make make the decision for us. We want to be able to use a bit of wisdom, okay? Am I feeling like doing this because I'm frustrated or am I feeling like chucking my job because I'm so angry with everything. You've got to apply some logic to it, apply some wisdom as well, okay, because it's, it's high emotion time. You can't have a Mercury in Pisces <laughs> uh, in retro and uh, think that everything's going to be smooth sailing when it comes to emotions, that is for sure. Now, speaking of emotions, the next card that came out is a new emotional situation, a great intuitive insight. Trust your gut. Okay, even though your gut feels like it's just gone on a holiday for the last few weeks, um, bring it in, bring it in, trust it a bit more, really let go of any self-limiting belief patterns as well. Messages are regarding relationship and social invitations. So that hibernation that you've been feeling, that pullback from the universe, pullback from society, just want to be left alone, that's going to start to lift. You're going to want to be around a few more people. Okay. If you're feeling extremely overwhelmed at the moment, stop trying to please everybody else. Just stop it. The best way to stop feelings of overwhelmed is to break out everything that you have to do into manageable chunks. And then you write down the things that someone tells you you should do in a different list and you break them down into manageable chunks. And then you prioritise what you have to do, okay, pick up kids from school, eat, go to work, make myself happy, meditate, whatever is on your selfish, beautiful list. And I love that word selfish because it's something that I've learned to do recently and it's not to the extreme, but it is enough to put my needs first and it's okay to do that. Women are not good at doing that. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you're trying to do too much for everybody else. So break it down into manageable chunks. Once you've got everything that you need to do, that you have to do on your list is ticked off, then you can have a look at the other things that you should do, that other people want you to do, that you've probably been putting off because you don't really want to do them. Okay, But you have to make sure that your needs are met first because that's how you get your fuel for life. It's how you get your energy. It's how you stay in touch with yourself so you don't lose who you are as a person. What else is going in? (laughs) Nurturing, self-nurturing has come up. Practical and wise advice. Well, hopefully that's me giving you some. 
the ability to make anything more beautiful, it really comes down to perception here and how you view things and nurturing yourself. She's been making plans to do things that will start to come into fruition. I don't mind if their career path changes, family changes, relationship changes, anywhere in your life whatsoever that you want to make some changes, they are actually going to come into fruition. Can we have an indicator, please, within the next three weeks? So within the next three weeks, you'll start to see some huge changes. And this is for everybody, okay, in any area of your life that you want some changes. Three weeks, guys. Let's have a look and see what else is going on here. Uh, let it go. Whatever you're trying to control at the moment, just let it go. Let the universe look after it for you. All right, guys, that is your collective reading for the 5th of March, 2020. I'm Janita Francis. You can catch me on Facebook at Insight by Janita, J-O-H-N-I-T-A, J-O-H-N-I-T-A, Francis, F-R-A-N-C-I-S. You can catch me on Twitter, on YouTube, um, where else am I? Instagram, A1R Psychic Radio, Moonstruck TV, a whole bunch of places. Just Google my name and you will find me. So I think that's just about it for me this week. So it's been um, always been a pleasure to, uh, to come and talk with you and to have you listen. Please do send me in a private message or an email through my website or Facebook what your questions are and I will happily read them out don't forget the code name if you don't want me to use your own name and we will do that next week so get cracking guys we've got a few more seconds to go so what else can we talk about there's so much going on there's so much going on um i'm getting some new crystals um at the moment so i'll unleash those next week for you but of course if you jump over to my facebook insight that janita francis then you will see my crystals being unleashed there and unwrapped I don't think I've done an unboxing for a little while. I might need to do one of those soon too. So yeah, that's me for A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV for the 5th of March. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Have a lovely, lovely week ahead. Thank you, guys. Bye.